Hey there, kids. I'm world-renowned literature reader James Thomas. I don't really play the guitar. I just think it'll look badass. Anyways, today's book is called Gray White vs. Hammerhead. If you haven't read it, it's won the Nobel Peace Prize for its work in uh, letting people know about the true, true godliness of sharks. So, my buddy Tim over here is going to lay down some bass. You know, make it a little interesting in case, you know, this book sucks. But it won't, because it's one of the Nobel Peace Prize. My little brother wrote it. Well, his little brother wrote it. So 1996. 1996. 12 years ago. So it's a classic. Classic. All right, ready? Yeah. Start that shit. Two hammerheads were playing tag, and Jim was there. They were playing 20 feet from shore. Tim and Jim liked to play tag. Anyway, I came to Tim's house and told him they had to move out to the Pacific Ocean. Jim was mad when he found out that Tim was moving. Jim now hated the Great White because he made all of his friends move. Jim was so mad he wanted to fight the Great White, but his parents said no. I told you this was all about race. Ugh. But he went to fight the Great White anyways. Then he started to look for him. Then Jim finally found the Great White. And Sears. <laughs> Before they even started, the whale shark came and told Jim violence isn't the way to solve a problem. This whale shark kind of like deputy dog. He also doesn't want the, the shark to do drugs. Or shoot heroin. The whale shark was right. Jim can make new friends any day. That's blank pages now. So dramatic pauses will be inserted. Dramatic pause still. It's still going. It's still the book. It's still the book. More pages. This is good. This is, this is really what really brings it home. The climax coming up here. I'm on the edge of my seat. Can't you tell? Oh! The end. Continued in volume two. Tune in next week. Subscribe up there in the corner. Uh, trust me, this is going to be much better. We're going to get books that you've actually heard of. And maybe, um, throw in some drums, maybe, for extra stuff. But, yeah, um, probably not going to want your kids to watch it, but, you know, if you're too lazy or drinking too much booze to sit down every night and tuck them in and, you know, read them a bedtime story, you know, don't just get on the laptop, watch my videos, and get twisted and, I don't know, bomb somebody <laughs> when they grew up. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is going to get blocked anyways. Peace out, bitches.